up guys? This is Shanti and you're watching me on my YouTube channel, Day Layavi. Wait a minute, if you're watching me in this video for the first time, then thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to click on this video and even attempt to watch this video. Hi, hello, my name is Shanti. I'm from Singapore. I'm a Tamil beauty blogger and I usually create a lot of beauty makeup tutorials, beauty product reviews, sometimes lifestyle curated content. And if this is your cup of tea, then please do not forget to consider subscribing to my channel. All that will be needed from your end is to just click on the subscribe button right down this video that says subscribe and make sure to click on the bell icon next to it just so that you'll be updated and notified whenever new videos like this go up on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my review on the Born This Way by Too Faced and this is their multi-use sculpting concealer. And if you're someone who's in the market for a new concealer and you've been contemplating whether you should get your hands on this concealer or not then please hear me out and let's get into this video so basically this whole concept of the Too Faced Born This Way multi sculpting concealer that really caught my eye was the range of concealer comes in 20 different amazing shades and that's such a huge plus when it comes to concealer it's just the lightest of the lightest where it's like light, fair and maybe almondy or biscuity and that's a little bit more further front of the complexions that are way much more lighter than mine so I always had a struggle with concealer when it comes to drugs. Thankfully when Sephora came about they came with a lot of brands and accessibilities to different types of foundation when it comes to shade ranges, undertones and Too Faced is one of them and also one thing that I absolutely love about this concealer is it is so friendly to the skin that it doesn't almost look like you have anything on and also on the days when I feel like I do want to cut back on the amount of foundation that I'm using for in today's video for this makeup look that I have on right now, I do have a foundation on and I'm using the Nykaa Skin Shield Anti Pollution Foundation. It's a long amount of name <laughs> for a product but it's an amazing product. I've actually reviewed this on my channel as well. If you'd like to know my review on the Nykaa Anti Skin Shield Anti Pollution Foundation, I'll put a link to where you can actually click on it. But for days, I just feel like I don't want to reach out for a foundation like this one. I would just definitely grab my Multi-use sculpting concealer bought this way by Too Faced. I am in the shade Warm Beige. I definitely feel like I could go just a hairline a little bit darker and just have it matching my skin complexion in that case then I don't have to actually use a foundation at all. This works great for imperfecting a little bit of darkness that happens around my under eye area. And I also absolutely love the fact that it has a very... Im I've actually used a Tarte Shape Tape and I'm not a big fan at all. I feel like it's a tad too thick and it's a little bit harder to work when it comes to using a brush like this one. I find just find it a little bit dry on the skin as well. And even with using a beauty blender, I feel like it kind of settles onto the skin a little bit more quickly. And the recent decade introduction of a fabulous foundation and concealers by amazing brands that have come to deliver a huge mumbo jumbo skin technology, skin loving science, all that jazz behind. We actually are able to conceal a little bit of imperfection on days where we do need a little bit of coverage and undetectable finish that it gives. I just can't quite put my finger on it. It's really good with scarring when it comes to like, you know, post acne scars where there's a little bit of inflammation, a lot of redness that is showing through just after the, the acne has actually subsided. This is quite a good product. Like I said, it conceals a lot more better than the ones that I've tried in the market. With this concealer's ability to move around and actually, you know, cover and conceal a lot more better area. Another plus about this concealer is that you can quickly misunderstand or misinterpret this packaging on its own or a foundation but it's actually a concealer but it works just as great as foundation. Like I said, when I blend, I'm able to move the concealer all across a lot more bigger surface area like my forehead. I just need to apply just a bit here and when I blend it out and when I spread the concealer around, I just feel like it offers a great amount of opacity without losing the pigmentation from the colour. I absolutely love it and I just set it down with a little bit of, you know, maybe a loose setting powder like, like the one that I have here in my hand. This is from Chamber and I'm good to go. That's all I need. No foundation is required. That's the amazing part of this. The packaging contains about 15 milliliters of its amazing concealing action. And in terms of fluid ounces, I believe it contains about 0 0.50 fluid ounces. I got mine from Sephora. I believe it is retailing for around the $40 price mark. If I'm not wrong, it is priced at $44. 
but I believe right now they are going on a sale. Don't quote me on this. Please go check out on your Sephora site. How many stars would I rate this concealer? Definitely a four out, four and a half out of five stars for me. I absolutely love it. If I'm going to be putting it straight across to you, I, this would definitely be my holy grail concealer. I definitely see myself going back to this. Another cool aspect of this concealer is that you can actually use this to conceal, contour, highlight and retouch. I've only done a lot of concealing and retouch just barely minimal. I don't go in, go in with a lot more product because you know on top of it I've already set it down with a powder unless it's been uh, if I do see the, the concealer breaking through then I would go in with a lot more heavier hand otherwise I would just spot conceal and then set it back with a powder and it works great for retouching as well I definitely stand by this product and its claim and that's it for today's video guys I really hope you enjoy watching this Too Faced Born This Way range of concealer product review and if you like this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and i shall catch you very soon in my next video and if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so all that will be needed from you and is to click on the subscribe button right down this video make sure to click on the bell icon next to it just so that you'll be updated whenever new videos like this go up on my channel for daily updates don't forget to follow me on my instagram i'm very active over there i'll be posting every day and i have been doing so even during this lockdown period so if you would like to have some interaction with me please go on over there and comment on my latest instagram post and i shall catch you very soon in my next video stay safe be responsible and don't forget to wash your hands bye